today I'm going to talk about liver fluke. Um, liver fluke uh, fascicola hepatica. Um, they're parasitic worms that live in bile ducts of infected animals. Um, they infect the host, uh, hosts such as sheep, cattle, goats and pigs. Um, every year the uh, liver fluke costs the agricultural industry millions of dollars due to loss of production, um, loss of livestock and the cost of treatment and prevention. Um, liver flukes occur in areas and farms where there are watery environments um, as these areas suit the development of the hatching uh, fluke eggs into swimming larvae and they're also the home of the intermediate host, the aquatic snail. Um, so their life cycle, um, adult flukes present in the bile duct produce eggs that flow um, in the bile um, to the intestines of the animal. The eggs are then passed out in the host's feces. The eggs then hatch in wet conditions um, and the larvae invade the intermediate host, the aquatic snail. Once inside the snail, uh, they develop into asporocysts, uh, radiae and car carrier. The, they then leave the snail and swim to vegetation and where they form cysts. The cysts are then ingested by a grazing animal and the immature flukes are released into the small intestine once again. Immature flukes penetrate the intestinal wall, move to the liver, migrate through the liver tissue um, for approximately six to seven weeks before entering the bile ducts and the, where they then become adults. The production of eggs starts from eight to ten weeks after the infection and the adult fluke can live for several years and can produce up to 20,000 eggs per day. So here you can see um, some mature flukes feeding here and the damage that they've done to the tissue. Um, so liver fluke disease is also called fascoliosis. Um, the severity depends on the size of the infection and how quickly it's acquired. Disease is due to the hemorrhaging of tissue and uh, uh, sorry, tissue damage caused by immature fluke um, migrating through the liver, damage to the bile ducts and blood loss due to the feeding of the adult fluke. Acute fascoliosis can cause death with or without the occurrence of abdominal pain, jaundice and anemia. Subacute fascoliosis causes jaundice, ill thrift, anemia and possibly death. Um, chronic fascoliosis is the most common type. It is sl a slowly developing anemia, loss of ap appetite and bottle jaw. Black disease is acute and fatal liver disease of ruminants caused by the bacteria associated with the migration of the young liver fluke. So here you can see a cow that's obviously not doing too well and a uh, sheep with bottle jaw. Um, so treatment and control. Use of fluke side drenches are very effective. anti Mentics are effective against liver fluke as well. And the best control is combining the treatment with grazing management. So the grazing of wet areas of the farm should be avoided and they should be drained if possible. So if there's a wet piece of land, it should be maybe fenced off to prevent the animals accessing it. Um, young and vulnerable stock should not follow mature, possibly infected stock in a grass rotation. Um, problem areas, regular monitoring, in problem areas, regular monitoring of liver fluke eggs should be carried out using fecal samples so you can count the amount of eggs um, and see if you know, it's a problem you need to up your dosing. All new livestock should be treated before entering the herd. Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't it amazing? They know where the liver is, they find the liver and then go to the bile duct. I mean, that's kind of a smart worm or yeah, fluke, I should say. Questions, comments about that? Okay, let's give Penny a round of applause.